All right, awesome. We are um, going to do a little, a little how-to on adding property lines to a, a photo in Photoshop. Um, this is really get geared towards um, you know aerial photography or photographers who, who may be working with like city planners or realtors who want to show distinct property lines or um, you know areas of interest on a photo. So uh, let's let's do it. There's going to be two ways that we're going to do this. One is with a pen tool, is one with a free form. I know there's plenty of other ways to do it out there on the internet, but this is the way that I've done it, and <clears throat> it's quick and easy. All right, so we're in Photoshop, and um, we have our layer paneling here. Go ahead and make a copy, I already did that. That's just gonna show us um, the before and after of what we're doing. So for this example, we're gonna be using this arroyo here, this green patch of land. Um, AK the canal. It's actually technically a park, but hey. Anywho, so we're gonna just we're gonna outline this general green grassy area for this example. And for this one, we're gonna be using the pen tool. Um, all right, so come over to the pen tool. You might be selected in these other drop-down menu, but gets your pen tool. And um, yeah, all right. So here we go. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start selecting some points along where we're going. Now let's just take it down here. I think that's good enough for here. And then we'll bring it back down here. Back down, back down, back down. Cool, good enough. Um, yeah, so you might, your, your current setup in Photoshop might not be the same, uh, but regardless, you can alter everything in here and fill and stroke. Stroke will be this yellow outline. The fill is obviously gonna be the fill. Um, just to give you an example, let's turn this fill down like 20% is usually good. Yeah. So there we go. We got a general idea of what this area looks like. Um, so we got the general area of what that looks like, you know, the, the boundaries aren't perfect right here and you can adjust them as you go. It's really not that big of a difference. You can get as granular as you want with the points and really round it out. Um, but yeah, that's generally how you do a quick, um, uh, just how you quickly outline uh, property lines with Photoshop using the pen tool. Okay, so now let's go into the freeform tool. So let's use another example. And let's just say we're going to use this whole, let's just say this is all of a property up to this top house down to the waterfront. So we already made a copy and let's get our freeform tool. So it's also, this is going to be the pen tool again. So go to, let's go to freeform pen. This is going to be, um, you'll see. It's a, little, it's a little bit different, but it's essentially the same. Um, anywho, instead of selecting points like we did on the last one, we are gonna be dragging around our area. So let's just start down here. Um, and just before we go, let's make the fill just deck down to 20, okay. So in this one, we're just gonna be dragging where we wanna go. As you can just follow it, look at Boom, 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 this is how we do it. Up it around, not don't need to be perfect. You can always refine it later, but just getting the general outline and complete the circle. Watch this magic. <clears throat> All right, so let's turn that fill down. Let's do 15%. Good enough for me. And then let's take a look. So there's your outline. Now we can clearly see this is the property, right? We want to take down that fill again. I don't have anything, but we can see, right? So we got a couple of homes. Home, home, home. Basketball court, park, park, right in the water. So, you know, quick and easy. This is with the freeform pen tool. So, um, yeah. So if your um, job requires you to do some property outlines, this is the uh, way to do it. And Easy way to highlight and showcase exactly what you're photographing. That's going to do it.